Yo, what up, Street Talks? There, Kim. All right, so the thought: how to start a photography project, why start a photography project, and some thoughts on photo projects. So let me begin. So first and foremost, this is the question: Will photo projects live on? So typically, when I think about the best photo books or projects that I personally witnessed, it's like you know. At least the memorable ones, the Robert Frank's The Americans, um, Henri Cartier-Bresson's Decisive Moment, uh, you know, and you know, Joseph Kudelka Exiles, stuff like that. And the thing is, with these photo books, they tend to have, um, just, yeah, so, um, Richard Avedon in the American West, uh, Kudelka Exiles and Gypsies and stuff like that. And this is what I find interesting with photo projects at least, is that we generally tend to remember the titles. We can't actually remember all of the photographs. And even most photographers I mean, even if you think about famous movies, ain't like very rarely do people remember all the scenes of a great movie, right? It's like you remember scenes X, Y, and Z. But it does seem what sticks is having a good title. So now the question comes like, what makes a good title? And th this gets a little bit tricky. I mean, I think it tends to be, um, I mean, obviously it depends on what language you speak, but at least I know for English, it seems like. It could just be one word that's bold, like exiles or gypsies or, you know, whatever. Or it's, it could be a phrase. And the, the cool thing with phrases is that you could just kind of steal them from anywhere. So, like, um, you know, one of my projects is called Only in America. And I got it from Jay-Z, uh, one of his uh, rap songs from the Magna Carta Holy Grail album. Where he's like, only in America... You can see Miley Cyrus twerking, <laughs> and it's, it's totally unrelated, but I'm like, I kind of like that phrase, only in America, I'm going I'm to steal that. So it's okay to steal titles. Um, even Henri Carter Brisson, The Decisive Moment, I think he took it from like Cardinal Retz, it's like everything in life has a decisive moment or something like that. So it seems like there's lots of good phrases, at least in the French literature. It seems like French literature and poetry has been kind of the best thus far. So... I would say, yeah, just think of like maybe a good title and work on a topic that actually you actually care about because it's funny, like now I'm 32 and I started doing photography, I guess more seriously when I was like 21, 22. So I've been in the game for at least a decade now, which is still relatively newcomer, but I'm happy. I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still, do, I'm still making stuff. And I think one thing I've just been thinking about a lot more is like uh, longevity. So... Like, I, I watched uh, one of the new Tom Cruise movies the other night, the, the Mission Impossible Fallout. And the thing that's so impressive to me about Tom Cruise, besides his uh, couch jumping Scientology stuff, is that think about his longevity. And even, so even nowadays, when I think about artists, what I'm most impressed by is people's longevity. It's like, how long can they stay in the game? So, like Jay-Z says, like, um, the uh, felony after felony, you know, even having lead till I'm 70 or something like that. So I think to think about longevity is key because I think now Tom Cruise is what, like 58? He still looks great and he's like super uh, fit. Apparently his uh, secret regime is like, he's like super addicted to fitness, you know, takes a gym with him wherever he goes, works out like a maniac, is really into like kayaking, running, skiing, snowboarding, rock climbing and stuff like that. And he does all his stunts, so I'm like, dude, fucking respect to you, Tom Cruise. This is uh, pretty impressive. So maybe it's like knowing that you're the product and you want to do the old stunts for yourself your whole life. And this is the thing, too, like even Mission Impossible, right? It's, it's, it's only successful because Tom Cruise himself is the product. It's Mission Impossible is him. If there's no Tom Cruise, there's no Mission Impossible series. But anyways, taking this back to... Um, photo and photo projects and stuff like that is I think photography is still so new and rare I think I think maybe it's better for us to just think about like super old school stuff right like the Italian Renaissance 
like we know we know Michelangelo, we know Leonardo da Vinci, you know stuff like that, but they never really worked on like projects, right? They 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 worked on great artworks and they created many great artworks and then whatever stuck around till today, it's you know what's been shown in museums and it's been uh, preserved for future generations, and. I really do think that as an artist, as long as you can create one great photograph, one great image, one great something, you've kind of done your job. And so even when I've, during this time during COVID, I've been spending a lot more time like looking through my own photographs. And this is my just practical tip. It's like, you can look through your old photographs any way you want. I usually keep them on Dropbox. You can look at them on your iPad, look at them on your phone, your laptop, use Lightroom or Apple Photos, whatever is easiest for you. But I think the goal is, to keep editing down your photos and looking at your old photos and just be genuine with yourself. So like look at your old photos and be like, do I really care for these photos or were these photos in the past I just upload to just get lots of likes on social? So essentially I'm like pretty anti-social media when it comes to photography because I think it's the worst thing you do as a photographer in terms of killing your soul, <laughs> in terms of just losing your motivation because then your motivation, it becomes dependent on likes rather than something that's internal. This is why I encourage everyone to start their own website your first name, last name, .com. And it's interesting too, .com means that you're a company. So you are the brand, you're the company and whatever. So when it comes to projects, typically work on something you generally care about, work on your own city, your own country, yourself. It could be your loved one. Like I worked on Cindy, the Cindy project, only America suits. Cause I used to know what it felt like working corporate, whatever. And, or it could just be kind of a general mood or whatever, like, Joseph Kudelka exiles, just him being in the exile, just wandering in the road. And I just, I would just say just the simple thing is just keep, if you're working on projects, keep the aesthetic consistent. Like you're doing one project, keep it all in black and white, keep it all in color. And even now that I'm starting to, I'm sorry, my own COVID-19 photo project, I'm shooting everything Ricoh GR3 cross process mode. And Having a, a consistent visual aesthetic, I think, is important because then you could, you know, kind of date things and periods and stuff like that. But ultimately, just know that a project, don't pursue a project because it's more legitimate or whatever. And you can already be working on a project, you don't even know about it. But ultimately, the most important thing rather than projects for you to go out, you know, the world is out there. The world is an interesting place. So what you just gotta do is fucking get out there, do it, don't be stuck indoors, the indoor life is uh, the boring life. So yeah, it seems like the goal is to push forward, get out, la vida loca baby.